We spend a lot of time here talking about the various experiments that are going on on board the space station, in particular the new ones that come up to the station, but some of them have actually been around for quite a long time, and one of those is the EarthCam experiment, which is also known as the Sally Ride EarthCam experiment. Um, so today we have Carrie Goulard, who is a uh, uh, has actually been involved in the experiment for, for not only um, her career here at NASA, but even before she arrived at NASA as a college student. And she's going to tell us a little bit about that. Thanks for joining us, Carrie. It's a pleasure to be here. All right. Well, why don't you start out telling us just a little bit more about the Earth Game experiment? What, what is it about? Okay, Earth Game stands for Earth Knowledge Applied to Middle Schools, and essentially it's, it's a very simple experiment. There's a camera that the crew sits up on board the space station in one of the windows, and it's connected to a laptop that runs the Earth Cam software. On the ground, uh, elementary and middle school students to have access to a website that allows them to view the orbit tracks of the space station, and based on that, they uh, look at where it's passing over the Earth, and they choose to select uh, pictures from that orbit track. And those pictures get put into a file, which is sent up to the laptop, and the software reads that file and tells the camera when to take pictures. So then uh, once the pictures are back on the ground, the students are able to view these pictures, actually anybody at this point can view the pictures and they use these photos to study anything from history to ecology to even uh, orbital dynamics and mathematics because uh, certain knowledge, even though the orbit tracks are provided for the students, a certain knowledge of uh, simplified orbital dynamics is required to understand how the space station orbits around the Earth. So it's uh, really meant to encourage all students in to pursue math and science and learn more about the Earth we all live on in general. And that's got to be a good way to do it, letting them basically take photos from the International Space Station. has got, got to get them interested in space. Yes, and there's definitely the cool factor of knowing that you told something on board the space station to take this picture. Do you ever get to hear from the students yourself? Yes, we do. The schools usually put together a packet uh, towards the end of the mission uh, describing themselves and some of the favorite pictures they've put together and also thanking the crew and we tried to get that up usually about a week after the completion of the mission. I bet that's that's great for them and I guess we've got another round of EarthCam coming up and actually have a, a record number of participants scheduled this time right? Yes that's correct. We set up the camera yesterday in Node 2 and this time around, we have 867 schools with 71,000, over 71,000 students participating from 51 different countries. That, that's, that's a pretty big number. <laughs> yes, it is. And it, it seems to grow each time, which is really nice to see. Why do you think that is? What is it that students like about it? Do you, or I guess teachers like about it too, probably. Well, I think, like I said, you know, there's definitely the cool factor of uh, working with and, and taking pictures from something that's on board the space station. So it gives them a little bit of, of ownership. And then when the pictures come down, they can point to it because it does identify who requested that picture. And they can point to it and say, we took this picture, we selected this. And then I think the teachers like it because they can take that aspect of it and incorporate it into their classroom, into uh, the various subjects and it just really helps make learning interesting and fun for the students. Okay, well how many how many photographs would you estimate that they'll take this time around? Probably on the order of a couple thousand at least. Wow. And how long does it last? Usually we go about a week, so we set up yesterday and the camera will come down Saturday morning. A couple thousand photos in just a week. Well, the camera can take photos during only during the day pass, but usually the schools, since there are so many schools, the camera clicks pretty much the whole time. Yeah. <laughs> well, that's great. And so now we mentioned earlier that um, you basically got started with this project in college. Tell us a little bit about that. Well, my whole career, uh, to even how I ended up at NASA, 
I'm sorry if I'm going a little bit off subject, but it's really kind of just been one giant accident in some respects. <laughs> I sort of fell into the project by accident when I was a freshman in college and uh, EarthCam, or KidSat as it was called at the time, was just getting started and I joined up and then from, and so I was part of the group. And then from that, I uh, was lucky enough to get an internship to work over here in cargo operations. And then from that, I got my co-op. And from there, I got the full-time position. And I've never forgotten where I started. I've always loved working with EarthCam, being such a big part of it at the beginning, and then just continuing and to try to support as much as I can. What was your part of part in it when you were a college student? What What did you do with the when you got involved? We were. Um, it was still fairly early, but we were coming up on our first mission. I think it had been going about a year at that time, but we were still trying to figure things out. So I did a little bit of everything. We did a lot of simulations. So I'd pick pictures, um, try to determine the orbit tracks. I also ended up writing a lot of the initial curriculum that the students and teachers would use to supplement the pictures and kind of explain how the camera and how the space shuttle orbited the Earth and things like that. All right, and now you get to see the, the program going on and, and reaching even more students. That is correct. All right, well, thank you so much for uh, coming and talking with us, and we're looking forward to see some of those uh, photos um, coming up over the next week, I guess. Thanks again. This You're was, very welcome. This was Carrie Goulard, who is a member of the EarthCam team. Thanks so much.